Time to play Child of Light. Looks like it's going to be really fun. Oh, she died. That's kind of dark. Oh, wait, she's okay. Oh, no. Hello everyone, this is the Introvert Positron, and welcome to the very first episode of Tips Gaming Philosophy, where we talk about philosophy hidden away in the games we play every day. Child of Light is one of the first games I've played on this channel, and I enjoyed it quite a bit. The art style is good, the battle system is simple but engaging, the story is a decent coming of age story, and the characters are charming, if a little lacking. The surprising part was that I actually had issues finding philosophy to talk about here, but looking back I had a lot to work with. But that is kind of the point of the show, to find surprising relations to philosophy and games. That being said, what I did find, I think you will find intriguing. Before we get started though, a quick warning. This video does have spoilers for Child of Light. If you do not want to be spoiled, I will leave a link to the playlist for my playthrough in the description so you can watch it, or you can play it yourself. The game takes about 8 hours to complete. So we will be focusing on pretty late in the game for this, and specifically on elements involving time. One of the game's main mechanics is the timeline. Similar to other RPGs, the game relies on a timeline to allow turns to attack, where you want to be ahead of an enemy in the timeline to attack first, and if you attack them shortly before they can execute their command, you can delay that command. Now there are ways to slow down your enemies and speed up your party's attacks, such as using the fire flag Nicholas to slow down your enemy attacks by blinding them. However, the more important abilities for this video are the spells. Jen's spells are capable of slowing down enemies and even pushing their attacks back causing them to require more time to complete their commands, while Triss's spells are able to speed up your party so they can attack sooner. Basically, the spells allow the flow of time to be manipulated. The other elements come from the confessions, which are collectibles in the game that reveal more about some of the game's characters and lore. Here are a few of what the confessions say. The centuries have been unkind to us, gods forgotten within white temples fade. Under lidded eyes the palace sits frayed, doors closed behind bleached rooms gathering dust, the gilded thrones gleam muted by dull rust, rings worn into slit walls chart neglect laid, strata of history cleaned by no maid, no breeze, mere shut, glass mottled with must. The explorers stand still, statues bleached white, eyes lidded, heads empty as the room, plans fade for a future repainted bright, pristine comes unclean without a fresh light, the past rain skeletal holding a blank slate the gleaming potential of a tomb for mr elm's eyes only i took a bath in a stream for the first time in my life today i went under to wash my hair and when i came back up a small creature about the size of a rabbit was looking down at me it was perched on the surface of the river itself i thought men had it had hard water this place is over the moon i guess i better get used to it i'm starting to think i will never find my way back I hope you're there somewhere. Sophie Ashton Ellis. For Mr. Elm's eyes only. There is a raging storm outside unlike any I have ever seen. Water spirits wander through the torrents of rain waiting. Deafening crashes light up the violet sky above the plains. I'm not sure if they are caused by thunder or dragons. I've hidden in a small cave for safety. Clothes are drenched, but I managed to start a fire. Nothing to do but wait, so I'm taking the time to comb through Bathazar's book. Here's what I've learned about Lumaria so far. Lost Continent. I found that one online before I came. You get to it through mirrors. Not certain whether traveling through time as well as space. Magic is real. Oh man, is this one like the bullet point to end all bullet points. That's it for now. The fire's dying. What an adventure this is turning out to be. I hope my parents are okay. Sophie Ashton Ellis. Now these don't make a lot of sense out of context, but the important thing to note is that the first is different from the rest. The first one was about what half of the confessions are like. It is written in rhyme like most of the dialogue in the game, but the rest of the ones I read did not rhyme and seemed to change in setting and knowledge of the writer. These non-traditional confessions indicate that a visitor from a more modern time has been to the world of Lemuria, where the game takes place. While the game indicates at the start that Aurora lived in Austria in the year 1895, long before technology like the internet references online the confessions existed. As the game references Austria, Easter, and the system of years that exist in our world, the idea that Aurora may have come from a world outside of her own is not possible. So that leaves time travel, and in two possible ways. The first is that time moves slower in Lemuria than in our world, but that does not explain why Aurora's evil stepmother and sisters seem unaffected by this as they haven't aged since she left, nor why the flood caused by a broken dam at the end of the game references an earthquake in Austria in 1895. 
So this leaves a second possibility, and this is that Lemuria exists outside of our time. More specifically, Lemuria can access our world at any time in our history. Sophie said herself in her confessions that she wasn't sure whether or not she'd traveled through time, space, or both. And the evidence seems to indicate both. Now this is Tips Gaming Philosophy, and outside of that last statement, nothing seems very philosophical in the moment. But this does relate, and to understand how they relate, we need to talk a little bit about a branch of metaphysics called the philosophy of time. Time might seem like a weird concept to think about, but it's actually really important. Simple things like speed and power, as well as other physical properties of the universe rely on time. So understanding the nature of time affects our understanding of these relations and the universe. As well, it can affect the way we look at the progression of our lives as that also relies on time. Now, modern philosophers are generally split into two groups when it comes to time, specifically A theorists and B theorists, which are two perspectives on time thought up by J. M. E. McTaggart. A theorists look at time as having defined past, present, and future, while B theorists reject the idea of these terms having objective definitions, basically stating that time is a relative construct. So one states a defined past, present, and future, where time flows from the past to the present to the future, while the other states that there is a before, a during, and an after, and all three can exist at the same time as the concepts are relative. To give an analogy that gives better understanding and relative conclusions from these theories, let's say you order a pizza. Now you will of course consume the pizza, and then you will decide to ask both an atheist and a b-theorist whether the pizza still exists in its uneaten form. The atheist will reply, no, that pizza no longer exists, um, its past form has progressed to its consumed form in your stomach. Well, the b-theorist will reply, yes, the time with that form of pizza still exists, you are still being affected by that pizza, you anticipated its consumption, and now it serves as nourishment. Now both of these positions seem perfectly reasonable. With A3, you can agree that the unconsumed pizza no longer exists and is clearly no longer uneaten, which basically means you would agree that the, only the present exists. While with B theory, it is very easy to agree that the pizza has affected you and that form still exists in the past to affect you, meaning that event of eating the pizza also still exists. Now, I could talk a lot more about this probably for hours. I could talk about how many A theorists believe that only the present exists, or that others believe that time has a constant directional flow, a concept denied by Einstein's theory of relativity, or that having all time exists at the same time would require massive amounts of energy, or many other concepts. But I will save those for other videos. Today, we're going to talk about whether Child of Light gives an A theory or a B theory on time. Before we do that, let's summarize the evidence regarding Child of Light. We know that changing the flow of time is possible in this universe, and we know that time travel is also possible. Being able to change the flow of time indicates neither theory, as it does not affect the evidence of the past, present, or future. However, it is still interesting as it does deny the existence of a constant directional flow of time just as Einstein's special relativity does. But again, in another video. However, time travel does indicate B-theory. The fact that Lumaria can interact with our world at multiple points in history indicates the existence of multiple times. A theory rejects this possibility as it means that the past doesn't become the present which can't become the future as all three interact, meaning their definitions are not relevant to the way time works in this game's universe. B theory however does not reject the idea of all three existing, or rather that before, during, and after can all exist simultaneously. But what does this mean? Well, it means that time is a construct. Time itself does not exist in the form we know it. There is no flow from one event to the next. Rather, all events exist simultaneously and are simply relatively earlier or later than each other. Although, with time travel, deciding what is earlier and what is later is an issue. With regard to physics, nothing in normal life really changes. We can still refer to relative differences in events, locations, and histories in the normal units of time we are used to which means most equations and situations we often deal with do not really change, and life progresses as, nor as normal. However, a universe that follows B-theory is a timeless universe that actually allows both general relativity and quantum mechanics to work as they've been theorized to work, as when time exists they contradict each other when it comes to gravity and time. Believe me, I know that is really vague, but I can't go more into it without making this video much longer and far more technical. On that note, what we can conclude is that Child of Light supports the idea that time is a human construct used to make sense of the change that we see in our universe and lives. Thank you so much everyone for watching, I put a lot of time into this video. 
Uh, I'm very n new to the whole editing thing, which is probably pretty apparent in this, but um, I'm perfectly fine with that. I'm having a lot of fun with it, I'm learning how to do this, and I'm very excited to make more videos I of this nature as time goes on. Um, which they should be up about once every month, um, and I have a few games in the future that I'm planning on doing for this. But that being said, uh, the only way I'm going to improve this series is with criticism, constructive criticism from from all of you who are watching this. So please, um, whether you liked it or not, just leave any suggestions you might have for for how this might improve, um, things you did like, didn't like, things like that. Um, I can take most of it. Um, in fact, I can take all of it. Um, but on that note, like. I also want to hear um, any suggestions you might have for future videos uh, in this part of the channel. I'm really excited to make this a more official part of it, um, and hopefully I'll be able to make more than just one a month as time goes on. I don't think it will replace my Let's Plays, those are still going to happen here. Um, but yeah, uh, I think that's everything on that, so thank you again. Um, click on stuff that you want to leave, I'm going to leave a few links here, um, and also subscribe to the channel. and. Uh, <laughs> like the video if you enjoyed it, and of course comment if you if you do feel like you want to leave uh, the feedback that I would like, or if you just want to comment on different things in the video. Anyway, bye.